The last category of prohibitions don't fall into any particular category. The first one is one that we refer to as a catch-all prohibition. Um, it's the twelfth prohibition. It has a rather long definition, which I'll quickly give you, and then I'm going to give you two different examples that fall within this prohibition. It's a violation, it, the taking, it is a taking of a personnel action that violates a law, rule, or regulation which concerns one of the merit system principles. What does that mean? The merit system principles are general principles by which one should treat all federal employees and officials with respect to hiring, promotion, um, your constitutional rights. So the way that this particular prohibition works in practice is um, there are regulations, for instance, on providing employees yearly performance appraisal ratings. So an example is if an official fails to provide an employee with a performance appraisal rating because that is required by regulation and it concerns one of the merit system principles, that falls within this prohibition. Another very separate type of allegation that falls within this prohibition falls within the First Amendment rights of employees. So if an employee writes a letter to the editor in their personal capacity and management takes an action against that employee because of the content of the letter to the editor and that content is a matter of public concern that also could fall within this prohibition and the Office of Special Counsel may be able to seek corrective action for any action that's taken against the employee. The, the final prohibited personnel practice is one that was recently added under the Whistleblower Protection Enhancement Act. And this prohibition states that agencies may not implement or enforce non-disclosure agreements if those agreements do not make clear that employees have the right to engage in whistleblowing. So, for instance, if your agency has a general policy that you may not disclose any information that you learn of during the course of your job, that policy has to include language that makes it clear that you as a federal employee have the right to engage in whistleblowing and to file disclosures with the Office of Special Counsel and other entities. That would be an illegal non-disclosure agreement under this prohibition.